Now we want to do a numerical example, more numerical than just that. So we're going to solve a complicated mo momentum problem. Okay, it's hard to make a real complicated momentum problem because it's kind of like this every time. So we're going to blend it with some kinematics and make it real world. Okay? So the question is, if I stand on the thing and shoot this, will I get a kick backwards? So let's find out. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's jammed. Oh, let's see. Air cover isn't going to be here for a few minutes. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Now it's just a warped floor. Check that out. Okay, this building is not level. All right. I didn't go anywhere. No. Nothing. Why? Because these darts are so light, right? I was going to fill one full of lead to see if I could get myself to go, but I ran out of time. So I will fill one full of lead uh, next time. So what we're going to do is a problem, and think back to when I told you about how I'm a terrible dad and I don't go to the dad's club because I don't want to shoot a shotgun, right, with the uh, people. So we're going to do that as a problem and say, if I were to shoot a shotgun here, would I move? What is your intuition? You think I would move? We're going to go through the numbers. But we're going to do after the break, so I'm almost out of breath. But I'll tell you a quick story. Ready? Quick story. I would never shoot a real shotgun in here, would I? No. But you know they used to. So there's something in your book called a ballistic pendulum. And we don't do it yet because it's energy. And you shoot a gun into a block of wood, and you see how high it goes. And Dr. Dunning used to fire a rifle in here during class. This is like the 70s and the 80s. You may have heard rice was wilder. Well, not just in the colleges, OK? <laughs> like the muzzle was inside of a tube. Nothing could possibly go wrong. And they had the rifle. One piece was here. One piece was here. They assembled it. They put in the bullet to try to make it safe. And they would fire a rifle. And I asked Dunning why they stopped doing it. And he said one year, it made him very nervous. One year after he fired it, somebody went, ah! <laughs> like they got shot. And that just nearly killed him. And he never did it again. I asked him to do it for the online class with no one in here. And it was too traumatic. He could never, he could never do it again. So, so ask Dr. Dunning about shooting a rifle in this class. OK, let's take the break early, because I've got to think about this. And I don't want to break this in the middle.